Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia aka Crafty Owl here on the Not Too Shabby channel to create with the latest box of the month. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. We're so glad that you're here again. For today's card, we're going to be doing a little masking and ink blending, and I will be using goodies from the latest kits from Not Too Shabby. Over here on the right are some goodies from the newest box of the month, which was all about strawberries. And over on the left, I am using the bubble stencil that I designed that came with the bubble tea mini kit. Now, any of these products that are still available, I will have linked in the description box below. But I will tell you that I already saw next month's box of the month. And even though I'm not on that team, I had to order it for myself. I am completely in love. So make sure to go ahead and subscribe to make sure you get one of those kits for May. I know that you're going to love it. From the Strawberry Goodness Box of the Month, I will be using a paper from the So Refreshing Paper Pad. I'm not really sure yet if it will be this strawberry, but I did want to give you a little preview of the papers in that pad. For my main image and my sentiment, I'm going to be using the Life is Sweet little stamp set. I love this strawberry milkshake. I will be embellishing just a little bit with some sprinkles from the Strawberry Shortcake Mix that came with the kit. And of course, I will be using the bubbling over background stencil. Now, as I add any more products or tools, I will be sure to let you know in the voiceover. But if I leave you with any questions, as always, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty. To get started today, I'm going to be stamping my main image with Memento Tuxedo Black ink on a scrap of Nina Solar White that I cut to three and three quarters by five. I am using my new to me mini Misty and that's why I gave a little heart hands earlier because I hadn't seen it yet and I just thought it was so adorable. But anyway, I digress. I got my milkshake set up on the piece of white cardstock so the left of the milkshake hung off the left edge just a little bit. Then once that was in place, I picked it up with the door of my Misty. Because this is a new stamp, I rubbed my fingers over it to try to remove those manufacturing oils. And then I inked up and stamped it twice with the ink pad. I did this not only because my ink pad is slightly dry, but I wanted to make sure I got a nice crisp black image for my milkshake jar. Once I had that all stamped, I brought in some masking paper and I stamped the milkshake once again one time onto this. Now because I'm just using it as a mask, I didn't have to worry about that nice crisp image, so I just stamped it once and then I took it off screen to trim it out. Now when I trim my mask, I do try to trim just a little bit on the inside of that outer black line so I don't get much of a halo. After that was all cut, I put it in place as best as I could over the main stamped image and then it was time to do a little bit of ink blending. I will be doing two layers of blending. Both of them will use this red ink and for the first layer what I wanted to create was just a little kind of halo around the outside of this milkshake. So I went around a couple times and got it as dark and out as far as I thought it should be and then when that was done I brought in that bubble stencil. I figured out where I wanted that stencil to go on my card front and to hold it in place I just use a couple pieces of painters tape that I had detacked a little bit on the back of my hand. I am using that same red ink and I'm really trying to blend out about the same 
distance as I did for that first layer. But because now I'm putting down more ink, only where those bubbles are, they'll just be kind of faint in the background. Now it's time for the reveal, and this is probably my favorite part of stenciling. And I do just love how that milkshake is nice and crisp, but then you have all that color on the outside. Now it's time to get my sentiment stamped. I will be heat embossing this with detail white powder on this scrap of red cardstock. I chose the Life is Sweeter with Milkshakes to put on the front of my card today. Before I ink up my stamp, I did bring in my embossing powder tool and gave that a wipe across the cardstock. This just helps to ensure that my powder sticks only to where I want it. I did go ahead and ink this up and stamp it twice onto the cardstock just to make sure that my powder had a lot of ink to stick to. Once that was poured on, it was then time to heat set it and like always, I think heat setting embossing powder is magical. Let me know below if you agree. I trimmed this down so it had an even border on the top and bottom of my sentiment and I ended up leaving it at the width it was. And you'll see later it was like perfect for this card. Off screen I cut a scrap of black cardstock that was just slightly larger than the piece that I had stamped and ink blended. I also grabbed a top fold card base from my stash and then it was time to get this card put together. I layered the stamped piece and the black mat together and then I added some adhesive to the back of my sentiment and placed that across the card front. I added some strips of foam tape to the back of my card front, just wanting to add a little bit of dimension to the card. And it was at this point when I realized I forgot my pattern paper in the background. I decided to go with this faux glitter look paper. And because I love it so much, when I die cut it, I did take most of the center out so that I could use that for another project. I then adhered the glitter frame to the front of the card and I placed my stamped and inked blended piece over that opening. To finish off the card, I brought in that strawberry shortcake sprinkles mix and I placed three of the strawberries and three of the white dots onto the card front. I adhered each of these pieces down with just a drop of glue of art glitter glue from my little bottle and you'll see here that I put all of my dots of glue down first, let it sit for a second and then place my embellishments on top. Now after this had dried off screen I did do a little stamp off of the milkshake jar on the inside and here are some close up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.